Here is Ken. Yes, please. Yes. Uh, share yes. your screen, uh, Gazi Hassan Munir. I'm trying. Okay. Just share the first, uh, first um, window of your share screen. Then you can go to the. Uh, Gola Mustafa Shubro is here. Uh, I'm just. <coughs> co-host also shubro can you hear me yes i can okay uh, just click on share screen and you can see the one just first window you just share Oh, it is. I'm trying, but uh, fishing problem. Mm. Uh, yes, okay. yes, sir. I'm facing some problems to share the videos. Just uh, cross all the window and just uh, do it uh, on time uh, again. Hello. Again, yes, yes, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, sir. Yes, uh, where uh, we got your screen, sir, and please uh, the okay. hi hide the Zoom meeting uh, webcam icon. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, please. Okay. Okay, please. Uh, can you hear can, me? Yes, can you hear can. me, please? Uh, yeah. We can, we can yeah. hear you yeah. and please continue. Uh, thank you. Uh, Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. Welcome to our Bangladesh Kurgan Fellow Group webinar session, Lecture 8. Uh, already we have learned about the basic image of frame and its components. Also, the section of, proper, of, of the upper limb from the previous lectures of Dr. Shetu. Today, I, Dr. Ghazi Hassan Al Munir, uh, will talk about the surgeon of lower limb. What is surgeon? Safe corridors are areas through which pins and wires can be safely inserted without injuring the major neurovascular structures. This is the anatomy of the thigh. We are, all are concerned about the anatomy of lower limb. To know about the safe zone, we have to recapitulate, recapitulate it, starting from the middle of the inguinal ligament, femoral vessels and nerves, runs medial to the vastus medialis under cover of the sartorius. This is the card section of the sartorius. This is the sartorius. And major vessels runs under cover of the sartorius. This is the vascular supply of the thigh uh, loop. The major vessels running uh, in between the inguinal ligament and uh, they are almost medial to the uh, femur and uh, running down uh, to the uh, knee joint. Here is, uh, in this, this is the supine position. In the supine position, a good safe surface approximation is represented by a straight line drawing from the intrasuper leg spine to the medial uh, margin of the medial condyle. And uh, uh, this is called the Kins line. It represents the safe zone. You see the medial to the Kins line. You learnt about the sun or thumb demonstration from the last lecture. The sun is a unit of measure. It is based upon each individual's own body.
of extremities are real centimeters or sun meter. One sun provides a proportional measurement of each individual's independent of age and sex. Goniometric system of 360 degree. This is goniometer. Goniometric system in this system, the cuts are centered on the circumferential skin measured from zero degree to 360 degree. This is zero degree, 90, 180, 270 degree. Uh, for example, the wires are placed from 40 to 240, these wires from 100 to 320, and this is from 70 to 290. These are the cut levels of uh, the thigh. Usually, the thigh uh, is divided into six cuts one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and uh, we also uh, have a rough idea about <coughs> the upper third, middle third, and lower third. Look, in the upper third, the major vasculatures are on the intermedial portion, which is completely middle third and in the lower third, it is posteriorly. In upper third, major vessels and nerves lies medially, which don't <coughs> permit the wires to pass with a great angular crossing. Lateral surface is almost safe for sun's screw. In the trochanteric region, look, this is the femur trochanter, and uh, from here to here, this is the safe corridor, and you can place wires but it is so cumbersome to place wire. So it is safe for the uh, shuns. And this is also the subtrochanteric region. The angle is a little bit more than the trochanteric region. And this is the safe zone. In middle third, femoral vessels and saphenous nerve are in adductor canal, which occupies the middle one third of the posterior medial side of the thigh, leaving intra aspect of the femur except for wire passes. In junction of the upper third and middle third, and it is the junction of the uh, lower third with the middle third. Here, uh, this is the femur, and the separate dot is from here, sorry, here to this side. This is the sep zone. And uh, in the junction of middle third and lower third, uh, there is a wide area. And uh, you can place a uh, wires in a vast areas. The safe areas is from here to here. In lower third, vessels the nerves crosses medial to the posterior surface of the thigh and enter in the popliteal fossa, leaves the anterolateral and medial aspect of the femur safe for the wire placement. This is <coughs> corridor and this is also safe. And this, uh, this is the patella zone, so you will not place any uh, wire here. And in the posterior area, no wire should be placed in the lower third. Now, uh, different levels of the thigh. Cut one, just show the anatomy, uh, see the anatomy. The transverse section is uh, performed at the intertrochanteric line, just one sun distal from the tip. Here, about 70% bone is cancellous. Ischiam is palpable posteriorly, which is the important guideline for the sciatic nerve. And in this case, transosseous fixation should be from lateral side. Shan's screws is preferred. At this level, recommended fixation is performed using one half pin inserted from the anterolateral to posterior medial and second from the posterior lateral to endromedial. The two pins are angulated at, from, uh, at 30 to 40 degree. In cut section two, this is 2T distal to the intertrochanteric line. Here, the uh, femoral vessels are located intermedially within the triangle bound uh, formed by the 
sartorius and adductor musculature this is the adductor musculature and this is the sartorius sciatic nerve lies and medial in reference to the femur this is the sciatic nerve in this uh, card transfixation nerves are restricted to lateral half lateral half only the wires can be placed from above downwards and from here to there but it is uh, more cumbersome for the patient to bear the wires here due to mus uh, muscle attachments so here also uh, half pins are advised now cut three it is 4t distal to intertrochanteric line femoral vessels are lateral to femur under cover of the sartorius this is the femoral vessels sartic nerve lies posterior to femur under cover of the biceps in this uh, area this is the sartorius and uh, under sartorius there is the femoral vessels and wires uh, here placed from 110 to 320 330 degree and uh, second wire can be placed from 10 to 150 degree cut four it is 60 distal to intertrochanteric line uh, here the femur is almost cortical sciatic nerve lies posterior to the femur femoral vessels and nerves lies in the adductor canal bounded by the sartorius vastus medialis and adductor longus and magnus this is the adductor canal and uh, you must assess about this during placing wires in this cart medial entrance should be more than 300 degree here is the adductor canal so you know, you should not place wire between 300 degree it should be above 300 degree and uh, wire should be placed 310 to 90 degree and can be placed from 130 to 350 degree he, he, you can place a wire from 40 to 2 degree but it is difficult it is for the highly expertized surgeon like our bari sir now the cut 5 it is 80 distal to intertrochanteric line there there is a arc there you can see a line a red line here and here you can uh, there is arc from 110 to 270 degree and it is uh, fully shaped for the wire insertion posterior zone from 120 to 160 uh, 260 degree must be avoided here is the Um, uh, neurovascular structures wires can be placed here at 62 to 70 degree and uh, it um, uh, 110 to 320 degree cut 6 it is 40 proximal to the knee joint the Uh, our popliteal artery and veins lies posterior with the sciatic nerve that is all the neurovascular structures lies posterior to the femur in this cut multiple wires can be placed as desired introduction of the transosseous wires in lower third is relatively safe except posteriorly transosseous wires can be placed 310 to 100 80 to 280 bisecting the these wires and these wires that is 62 to 250 100 to 300 310 and uh, a third wire between 80 to 280 degree now uh, we are in the leg and this is the anatomy of the leg you see uh, here is the interview of the uh leg the posterior view nature view the vital structure winds round 
and divided into two superficial and deep perineal nerve superficial nerve branch here and deep perineal nerve branch with the intertubular artery midway midway of the leg posterior laterally to the tibially superior muscle and in uh, posterior view this is the soleus muscle the major vessels that is popliteal vessels is continued distally and it is divided into two uh, uh, the intertibial artery runs between the uh, tibia and fibula and the posterior tibial artery along with the tibial nerve is uh, on the middle side cuts levels of the leg the leg has also six cuts in cut one just in front to the knee joint you see the anatomy major neurovascular structures are posterior to the tibia and this is the common perineal nerve which lies just behind the neck of the fibula wires can simply inserted within an arc of 220 degree this from here to there you can place wires safe zone extend from here to the i let the pula exclude the patellar attachment this is the ligamentum patellae wire placement in this part one if you uh, fix the fibula you must insert the wire through the neck of the fibula from 100 to 300 degree 310 degree you should not wear uh, place wear from medial to lateral side in this situation uh, here the neck of the fibula is the surface landmark for the common perineal nerve optimal divergence achieved by passing wires from 100 to 310 degree and 62 to 260 degree transfixation wire if you uh, want to place uh, here then you should uh, place the wire aiming 30 degree anterior across the proximal tibia from lateral to medial to exit medial to patellar tendon now cut to it is dis uh, 40 distal to articular surface of the knee in this uh, here vessels run posteriorly this is the major vessels posteriorly tibial nerve is separated by the popliteus muscle common perineal nerve is located directly lateral to the fibula passing posterior to anterior look at the common perineal nerve dangerous zone at this level include the lateral fibula and of course the posterior lateral portion this is the dangerous zone in this cut fibula fixation is strongly contraindicated for adjacent common perineal nerve you should not fix the fibula tibial fixation done by passing wires uh from here to there and from 8 to 30 degree and also you can place wires and you can uh, place a sponge here also cut three it is 60 distal to knee joint major neurovascular bundles lie in the space between the tibia and fibula all the major vessels in between the tibia and fibula in cut three position intro tibial vessels lies uh, intro on the interosseous membrane uh, including the deep perineal nerve posterior tibial vessels and nerve sandwiched between the soleus and tibialis posterior muscle
as the neurovascular structures are con concentrated in the central position, both bone fixation is avoided here. You should not fix the both bones here, fibula and tibia. Here, transverse wires is placed slight intro to to miss the perineal nerve. Uh, here, we can place wires 80 to 310 degree and a second wire from 52 to 70 degree. Cut four. This is the tibia. Uh, it is almost cortical and medially it is subcutaneous. There it is uh, here, tibia is uh, cortical near about 80% of its diameter. Neurovascular structures are in the uh, central position. Posterotibial vessels and nerve runs posterior and lateral to the tibia between soleus and posterotibial muscles and posterior hallucis and longus muscle. Here, wire fixation uh, is done 20 to 250 degree and 60 to 290 degree angle. Once is placed in this position here. If Jamal from the end posterior muscles here are increased. Then the interior. TPI is palpable, just fibula, sorry. Fibula is usually palpable. Due to 20 degree. Cut six, it is two deep proximal to ankle joint. Here uh, you see the all structures uh, in the posterior, posterior part and uh, some are in the inter part. And uh, there is no uh, structures medially and medially and laterally. Major tendons are palpable here. This is the tendon Achilles. TBI is subcutaneous, intermedially, and fibula is posterolaterally. In this cut, uh, if desired to fix the fibula, then pass wire from 110 to 320 degree, and uh, you can construct with 110 to 320 degree also, to, uh, if you uh, um, uh, want to avoid the fibula. And also by 50 to 250 and 80 to 280 degree. Now we come into the vascular supply of the knee joint. Uh, you recapitulate that the uh, femoral artery is continuous at the back of the femur as popliteal artery, and then it is divided into two uh, that is posterior artery and the intertibial artery. Intertibial artery is uh, passing between the tibia and fibula over the interstitial membrane. At this level of the femoral condyle, you may place wires from uh, medial and lateral side, both side. You should avoid the posterior side and only the intro side for the patella and the patellar ligament. And at the level of the tibial condyle, it is also there is a safe area, huge safe area on the medial and lateral side. You can place wires uh, from 100 to 310 degree, 50 to 250 degree, and a uh, third wire diverging the two wires. Now, uh, it is uh, also uh, described pre in previous lectures. Uh, you will uh, place wires, but in uh, effect of low speed and high speed QR, it is uh, very much important because uh, if you uh, use the high speed drill, then you may uh, pierce the vessels and uh, nerves. But if you use the low speed drill, then uh, when the um, wire make contact with the bundle sheet, then it pushes away the uh, bundle sheet without penetration. 
if it is slow with rpm slow, slow rpm but if uh, it is uh, with the high um, uh, speed then it is it will perforate the vessels or nerves and if it is slow then it, uh, the sheath will be displaced and it will be continued with the bone so uh, when you will place the wire then you can place the wire with your hand and uh, push it uh, through the skin and slowly push uh, up to the bones when you, you feel the bone then you will uh, drive the you know, you drive your power drill the cure must be introduced slowly pausing several times during the procedure to avoid burning of the tissues particularly bone and skin it is recommended that a low power drill with a speed not more than 100 100 to uh, 1200 rpm be used Low speed wire introduction also permits moving aside such movable soft tissue structures as blood vessels and nerves, thereby avoiding serious complications. Technique of care introduction into the bone. Here, wire tip is moved slightly vertically to make sure it is not on the bone slope and will not slide downward or upward when drilling wire uh, will be gripped by weight sponge then you will drill the wire through the bone side uh, both sides of the cortex passing through the bone canal and bone marrow transmedullarily if the wire is drilled incorrectly through the cortex which can lead to development of osteomyelitis so be uh, sure that uh, wire is passed between the medullary canal and both cortex. For correct positioning of a wire, before the wire tip is introduced into the skin, skin uh, entrance point and exit point, drilling site must be determined. You should place the wire, touch the bone, and your assistant will guide with a artery for shape or something and you will uh, mark that point to drill the wire uh, to your assistant introduction of wire into the medial side of a femur entrance point of the wire tip must be uh, two centimeter from the vessels to uh, prevent injury of the vessels. Here, to prevent joint contracture due to wire insertion, during wire penetration of the muscles of the internal compartment, you should, uh, put, uh, you should place the foot in plantar flexion position. And uh, when uh, you will place wire from posterior to anterior, then you uh, place the foot uh, in dorsiflexion position in maximum maximum measure of the widest part of the leg with the measuring tape it is for the appropriate ring selection you should uh, select a ring which is uh, uh, easy for the patient and for you for measurement, the widest part, you should uh, measure it and then add six centimeter, three centimeter internally and posteriorly uh, to obtain the original figure. You may try the proper ring size in advance and you also apply the Smith and Nipu uh, special template, but it is not available. Ensure at least two fingers wide gap by inserting your fingers in the space between the ring and the skin. It is very much important when you select the ring, you sh should see that there is a ring must be uh, more than the uh, circumferential skin size because after operation, the uh, swelling up of the leg, it may uh, uh, give hazard to the
patients now there are some, some examples these are the examples are from our uh, center kurgan russia uh, here you see the ilja rings are placed in the thigh in here ilja ring in the leg wires are placed from medial to lateral side and in this picture the uh, ilja are placed from thigh to leg there is arts two arts here and which are hold by the shanji screws stay home stay safe use safe zone stay safe and uh, this is the uh, picture we seven making a circle that is near about the eligible ring and here the center is our mentor our professor barisar who inspired us to be an eligible eligible thank you sir for uh, patient sharing for live and previous session you may visit eligible clinic kumc ortho world and ortho tv live i invite you all for the next session safe zone of the foot lecture 9 on 6 june 2020 at the same time just at 4 by our dr md arifu jaman thank you thank you all hello 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 are you bhai hello 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 yes 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 shadu bhai yes thank you for your brilliant presentation and you already uh, presented it very elaborately now i want to uh, give the floor to our professor baris sir to say something and uh, before uh, that i want to uh, uh, give the space for our audience if is there any question to our speaker please hands up and any question you can uh, do it directly to the dr moni please moni off your uh, screen moni off your screen okay arif arif can you hear me dr arif Arif, can you hear me? Yes, uh, I can hear you. Sorry, I unmute my microphone. Uh, Dr. Okay. Nazmul Mudda Shethu sir, uh, thank you for supporting me in between the blackout period. And um, now the most interesting session uh, is the uh, uh, question and answer session. And I think I, I have uh, I said something when I was. Uh, I'm muted uh, yeah, in mute mode. So for that uh, reason, I want to repeat my um, uh, I re repeat my uh, speaking. Uh, I especially thank to Gazi Asal Munir, uh, so brilliant and very time oriented and palatable uh, slide sharing, and especially the safe zone, the circle, all the things that you have shared are very um, authentic and uh, very palatable to us. and now the special session uh, you know, uh, to who is we can um, communicate with us and different participant from home and abroad and i divided the, this part into uh, several uh, department uh, first uh, i will go to my professor professor mufakkar albari and then i will go for question answer session 
and at the last part of the session i will again go back to my professor mufakkar bari um, so that he can conclude the session and uh, in between uh, the, the speech of mufakkar bari please um, uh, everyone please are uh, are yes, uh, may i say something uh, yes sir definitely Arif. sir yes sir you can say something sir please. may i say something yes sir yes sir you can say something yes, hello yes sir we can, can you hear me you. yes we can hear you sir dr monir it is a brilliant and excellent lecture thank about you, the safe corridor of our lower limbs thank you sir i appreciate you and it will be helpful for the junior doctors and those who serve on starting elizarab session and thank they you, have to learn from your lecture more and more thank you monir for your brilliant excellent lecture thank, thank you, you again sir. thank you sir uh, thank you golam farooq sir uh, for your appreciation especially you are very much interested for uh, uh, seeing the very details of the anatomy as you uh, told uh, our previous session so i think uh, munir gazi asnul munir uh, satisfied your uh, requirement and now i am uh, going to my professor mufakkar al bari please uh, have a comments uh, over the full session and after that we will go to uh, different participant so that uh, we can interact uh, in a very uh, good manner Uh, Mufakkar Bari okay. sir, can you hear me, sir? Yes. Uh, sir. Can you, you can. Yes, you sir. You can hear me also, eh? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, my my all all national fellows, international Elizarians, Assalamu alaikum, and good afternoon. Uh, Dr. Munir rightly mentioned everything regarding the inferior extremity, particularly the femur and the tibia. And every Elizabeth surgeon, they must consider and they must know the surface anatomy. I am talking about the femur first. Even the you must think about the you should mention that one regarding the pelvis also. This is also included in the inferior extremity, or you can take another class for pelvis, because yes, pelvic ring, rim. When there is a trauma, there is a great role of elizarab surgery in the pelvis. Okay, uh, regarding the femur, upper one third, middle one third, lower one third. He rightly mentioned everything, and for the juniors and for the new. Commerce, those who are willing to do the surgery in the femur and in the tibia don't need to worry anything. Only in the femur upper third, you know the nerve or vein, nerve artery veins, or vein artery nerve in the upper third. When you will see the pupus ligaments, that is inguinal ligament below that will palpate, and you must mention the cane slide. Which has started from the anterior spine up to the medial condyle of the femur. He rightly mentioned cane slide. Then upper one third, due to anatomical constraint, we are using the shunts. And in case of femur, 5.5 or 6 or 6.5. Even then, you can use 4.5 shunts. It is better to use for 5.5 or 5.6 or 6.5 or 6. There are different varieties. Whichever you want, you can. Use that one from different planes. You can use in the trochanter region. Even you can go through the trochanter to the neck of the femur. Everything and even the in femur fracture, you can use the multiple K wires, which I use all the time. In old days case, in the trochanter, in the femur fracture, uh, femur trochanter, and the neck of the femur, you can use multiple K wires. That means 1.8 for the adults. You finish your one third cross section he has shown, and then go to the middle third. Most importantly, middle third is the dangerous. Perforating vessels are here, middle side, and a little bit below. If you go, there is adductor canal. You should have to keep it in your mind for that one. Even then, you can go the, you can use the multiple K wires or Elizar wires in the middle third, and lower third is very safe. If you think about a ring, is 100, 360 reflex angle. I always mention that whole ring is 360 degree. 
360 in the lower third, if you divide 270 and plus 90, 270 is the safe corridor, 90 is the dangerous corridor. 270 plus 90, it gives 360. Same in the upper TB also. 270 is the safe, 90 is the dangerous. 270 and 90, it gives 360 degree reflex angle. Middle third is also not so dangerous. A lower third, very easy. One thing you should keep it in mind, in the lower one third of the tibia, if you take the medial border of the tibia and the fibula, draw a line, medial border of the tibia, and draw a line through the fibula, if you divide this into three portions, anterior portion medially, that one is the called neurovascular structure. You can hit the vessels, you can hit the nerves, otherwise whole thing is safe. I must pay attention to you all, and especially the Munir, I must say, he has rightly mentioned everything. And if you go through my book, small book that I has written in 2006, first book, and Nazmul Udashuddu always talking about that book, he likes it. The lower, uh, only the tibia I have mentioned, and that was written on the Equinus Equinocabas. I could not mention that one. And recently, uh, I am already going to finish my superior extremity book, elaborate everything there, safe corridor, everything due to coronavirus. Like. So these are the main things already mentioned. So my request to all the orthopedic surgeons, you go first with the TBR, nothing to be worried. Starting from simple fracture to any complex trauma. Start with the TBR and you'll be able to uh, do any surgery. First you capture the tibia, then start with the ankle and foot, start with the femur, then go to the upper. Then you'll be able to capture everything. And one thing is this, 15th June of this month, Elizar of uh, birthday. Today, Valentina and Mishina, you know, they uh, talked with me over telephone and they conveyed by uh, their best wishes to you all. And uh, you can join on 15th their webinar. They are, they are conducting this year due to coronavirus through webinar. And they will inform me everything, then I'll let you know. So you get ready for 15th. And think yourself how we can next year, it will be 100 years of Elizaro uh, birthday. Uh, so we can deliver lecture from here. They will. They will, they will they will conduct with the Lizarov Center and now one person is from Portugal. He's also one of the professors, I know him. He's delivering from his country and they deliver it to the Kurgan Center. Same case, we'll do it. We can, we'll, we'll let them know what we can do. Okay, we'll think ourselves. So thank you very much. You Now you can continue the questions and answers. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> for your nice uh, comments and uh, i think please uh, everyone please unmute uh, mute your microphone so that noise is less and especially um, uh, your experience sharing uh, and if you uh, give us the hope that uh, you don't need to be worried to do elizarab insertion of the wires during uh, uh, during your elizarab technique because the knowledge of the anatomy delicate anatomy is the best safeguard for your uh, for your performance in Elizabeth surgery and now i am going to uh, i will come back to you sir uh, after the later part even you can interact uh, whenever you can uh, you want to interact in this session i want to go different surgeons uh, so far i did not uh, see um, uh, any question from our uh, participant so i am uh, going to different foreign participant and our country uh, uh, participant uh, so that they can share their experience of um, wire technique in lower limb. As lower limb is a very important and very, um, every, um, many of the orthopedic surgeon uh, uh, just uh, practicing uh, the Elizabeth surgery in tibia and the femur, uh, it is a very uh, popular uh, technique in Elizabeth surgery. So I, every surgeon have some uh, special tics, have some personal observation regarding the uh, lower limb Elizabeth uh, wire fixation. So I'm going to 
at first i am going to my co-host dr nazmuhuda shedu uh, please share your tricky point uh, for um, wire fixation in the lower limb nazmuhuda shedu please unmute your yes. microphone and uh, okay. yes yeah, thank you arif yes sir uh, thank you i just uh, 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 share my experience and uh, get the uh, uh, got the tips from uh, my mentor professor bari sir i always convey uh, 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 the uh, message to our uh, followers and residents also that if you want to do a reserve surgery at first you go through the books by uh, by our sir that is the pocket book of elizaro yeah, that is very nice very very precisely uh, demonstrate the uh, wire uh, uh, insertion and wire the ring position everything uh, i just to share some uh, tips that uh, that was uh, already uh, said uh, told our sir that is femur is divided into three part proximal third middle third and distal third proximal third anterior zone is dangerous middle third medial zone is dangerous and posterior third posteriorly is dangerous basic thing. and for the tibia uh, that is the medial border of the tibia do not um, avoid the passing the wire behind the medial border and when you insertion then again divide the longitudinally it is about three zone proximal third middle third and distal third and again longitudinally it is also divided into three part uh, that is uh, distally posterior lateral middle uh, posterior third and uh, middle third and anterior third if you uh, from the proximally anterior uh, most lateral part is dangerous middle third is middle part is middle third is dangerous and distal third anterior third is dangerous it is a basic Uh, concept and here distal third always should be remember that medial border of the tibia don't go for uh, beyond this uh, the tibia because very closely there is a posterior tibial artery be careful about it another thing when you insert the wire you should remember that uh, in the femur you should uh, should avoid the middle portion of the about 3 uh, to 4 cm medial portion of the thigh should be avoided because it may uh, uh, disturb the knee joint movement and it may cause the stiffness of the knee joint so you should avoid this area another thing proximal tibia if there is no uh, fracture or any pathology you should avoid the proximal 14 to 15 mm because the capsular attachment beyond the, up to the 14 to uh, 15 mm so you should avoid this area there is less chance of infection uh, by or uh, septic knee for this reason uh, we always remember this in our uh, laser of surgery thank you arif Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Nazmul Nada sir. Uh, please be with us. Uh, you are also co-host. And uh, now I am uh, going to um, some of our foreign participant uh, for sharing their uh, experience um, about uh, the uh, lower limb laser of our technique. Um, uh, I am seeing the Roy Imaniado. Uh, uh, if uh, uh, sir Roy, can you hear me? If you can hear me, please unmute your microphone and. Uh, please uh, communicate with us roy imaniado hello sir can you hear me sir okay i think uh, we uh, cannot get connected with, uh, and uh, i think gola if the golam faruk sir is here i want to uh, hear some opinion from him uh, otherwise i will go to uh, one of our uh, foreign faculty uh, 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 his name is uh, at atkunle uh, atkunle at sir uh, yesterday we have a nice talk with atkunle sir for regarding some clinical cases atkunle sir please uh, uh, unmute your microphone and you can uh, join with us atkunle sir can you hear me sir 
Okay, I cannot uh, connect it with Atkunle, sir. Uh, Dr. Golam Mustafa, are you here? Please uh, uh, unmute your microphone, Dr. Golam Mustafa, co-host. Please unmute yes. your mic. Yes. 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 Uh, Dr. Golam Mustafa, you can share your experience of lower limb uh, Elizabeth wire technique, and uh, if you have a tricky point or any observations, uh, please you can share as you thought. Uh, first of all, um, uh, thanks to Dr. Munir. Uh, he nicely elaborated everything. Uh, thanks for his nice presentation. Uh, for the beginner, I think uh, the, uh, regarding lower limb, the, um, especially the femur is cumbersome for the beginner. And uh, who are beginner should uh, try um, the, especially the tibia first. Uh, so that they can easily perform the uh, Elijah roof and get confidence. I think uh, our professor Mukhtar Bari Sar's um, uh, book will help uh, furthermore. And that's all. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Agala Mustafa, for your uh, uh, nice and uh, 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 short comment. And I, I think I, I started, I talked with some of the a resident who are doing a um, uh, thesis in Elizabeth surgery in Bangladesh in uh, in um, NITO. Uh, I am seeing uh, some of the surgeons here. So I am just, uh, though I am not sure about that, uh, Dr. Uh, Shironamhin Minhas, if uh, please unmute your microphone and uh, you can uh, share your opinion. Uh, Dr. Minhas, can you hear me? Please unmute your microphone. Dr. Minhas, uh, sorry, uh, I cannot uh, connect it with Dr. Uh, Dr. Minhas. So, Dr. Uh, Dr. Sorry, huh? yes, I am Dr. Gulam Mustafa. Gulam Mustafa, yes, please. Ah, okay, uh, I want to um, take some comment from Dr. Shantanudhar Imon from uh, Silet. Yes, sir, please. Dr. Imon, uh, please ask him to unmute. Dr. Imon, uh, if you uh, can hear us, uh, please uh, unmute your microphone and your please open your uh, video cam, webcam also. We can see you. Dr. Imon, can you? Uh, he's already uh, 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 connected. Okay, then uh, we'll go for the uh, 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 other discussion. And now I'm sharing my experience uh, about uh, and my uh, points. Uh, about uh, the uh, lower limb laser fixation. I, uh, me, I personally, I always uh, try to, uh, when the um, femur uh, fixing the wire in the femur, just stay lateral to the, um, that Keynes line, that is the uh, line joining the anticipatory leg spine and the, um, and the uh, lateral uh, and the uh, medial condyle. And you, Always stay, if you want to put any wire from the lateral side, just stay uh, at, the, uh, at the line of sartorius. Stay out at the line of sartorius. So uh, you cannot um, pierce or any um, fear of uh, piercing any nerve vessels. Don't go straight posterior uh, in any part of the femur. Uh, don't go straight posterior. Then if you go straight posterior, then you can pierce the sciatic nerve. You know that sciatic nerve is a very good diameter in the upper part of the thigh. And usually sciatic nerve and radial nerve, these two nerve have, is so sensitive that even uh, your body is anesthetized. If you pass uh, just a very closer to the sciatic nerve or radial nerve, there is a definite flickering movement of fingers or toes. And it will, um, it will, um, it will warn you about you are very close to the nerve. So if you pass your wire um, through the cortex, then, uh, then uh, just drill, just hammer the wires to pass the rest of the soft tissue. So uh, this is on my tricky point and uh, usually the middle third adductor canal and the pulse sometimes is very palpable. So don't go to the uh, adductor, through the adductor canal Usually, if you want to exit any wire uh, through the um, posterior medial part of the thigh, it is safe. But the one problem, if you um, put the wire in posterior medial part of the thigh, 
this area is very bulky and usually severely affected with the wire tract infection uh, when you put the wires in more bulky part so this thing you should kept in mind and my part of uh, presentation is the um, food uh, i will go for food on the uh, saturday and now the my point of the elizra wire fixation for the uh, leg uh, you know that the antitubular artery just peeping uh, just uh, reach the anterior compartment on the uh, proximal uh, proximal aperture of the interstitial membrane in the pro, uh, in the upper part of the leg and that just uh, uh, visualize on idea that from that aperture anterior tubular artery just uh, goes a little bit upward direction to the anterior um, tibial line at the ankle so uh, you know uh, just think that the anterior tibial artery is gr gradually um, upriding uh, the uh, surface of the, uh, uh, the medial surface of the tibia and goes to the anterior part of the leg so if you put the wires uh, you should just keep the in mind that this anterior tibial artery traversing obliquely from the proximal part to the distal part of the leg in a oblique manner and uh, my professor bari sir uh, nicely said that for mm, fixing the wire in the ankle just divide the anterior shin line or a line connecting to shin and second toe uh, and to another line is subcutaneous border of the uh, um, lateral malleolus divided into three part and you are safe in the lateral uh, two part don't go to the medial part so it is very safe area and um, uh, and always uh, always maintain the good position of the knee during insertion of the wire for full range of movement for ankle also is very vital and now i am uh, seeing uh, some uh, surgeon uh, from um, kumilla uh, narangans uh, dr abdul malik is a very good friend of us and he is a, a very good elizarab surgeon and also fellow of uh, professor bari he is connected with us and uh, please unmute your microphone dr abdul malik can you hear me uh, abdul, uh, abdul abdul malik can you hear me yes uh, you can uh, you can join with us with your comment about the uh, lower limb elizra fixation yeah it is live yeah yes we can hear you please uh, Communicate. Yes, yes, yes. Communicate with the speaker and also our professor Bari sir. Hmm. You should you should use the my, my uh, earphone uh, to uh, just uh, have a good contact uh, with the um, audience. Otherwise, the noise is more. Uh, I think we uh, will come back to you in the later on. And now I am. Uh, I uh, going to yes sir uh, i want to uh, take some uh, my comments uh, from my uh, resident yes sir uh, i can see there is a my dr habib and dr jakir is there yes sir i just want to say uh, something about our webinar from uh, dr jakir resident of our nito uh, please dr jakir can you hear me uh, jakir uh, please unmute your microphone Uh, and uh, we always encourage this uh, young chap and uh, they are uh, also doing the um, maybe in uh, thesis in elizar of surgery dr jakir if you can hear me uh, please uh, dr jakir hussain dr jakir can you hear me i already unmuted your microphone dr jakir dr jakir unmute your microphone Unmute your microphone. Hello. Yes. Hello. Can yes. You? Sir. Oh. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Alaikum. Uh, sir, sir uh, I am Dr. Jakir. I am a phase B resident from Nitor, and I am doing uh, the, my thesis uh, uh, regarding Elizaro in the uh, femur. Uh, what is your uh, the title of the uh, thesis, sir? Uh, Munir sir, for his brilliant presentation 
and as i am a beginner and I, as i am a student of uh, uh, phase b resident uh, and uh, in also in sociologies it is very it will be very much help for us and i will be in the in this session uh, regularly and hopefully will be uh, grateful thank you sir uh, thank dr uh, zakir hosan what is your uh, thesis title uh, can you please uh, mention again so my thesis the title is uh, uh, <coughs> treatment of uh, infected non union fracture shaft of the femur by elizero tiki uh, thank you nice uh, dr uh, zakir hosan uh, i want to add uh, one thing is that uh, um, uh, we are we are very fortunate that we go, um, got barisar during our residency and our thesis time but um, uh, i think uh, you can also co communicate with barisar uh, now uh, from uh, time to time and uh, this is uh, this platform is for uh, elizara uh, basic elizara for the beginner and if you go to the our previous session in youtube and other link and you can um, enjoy all the details and our presenter are doing a very good job they are Uh, focusing on every details especially that is very much helpful for the beginner so uh, stay connected yes sir and and uh, please yes, um, communicate all the elizara uh, new elizara surgeon who are doing thesis in elizara surgery please convey the message to them so that they can connected with us uh, in this uh, elizara platform uh, thank yes, you uh, thank you zakir hosan and uh, uh, if you. Uh, you don't have any question Uh, i am going back to my professor uh, mufakkar al bari uh, so uh, bari sir please um, uh, have your so, comment uh, on the overall no time eh uh, arif no time uh, sir yes it, it is all, um, mm. time is already we just from, uh, mm. have just uh, uh, past a, any foreigner no foreigner from nigeria they are not they are not here today yes sir they are foreigner uh, foreigner from iki uh, uh, there are uh, few nigerians here Uh, if you want uh, me to unmute, they're, they're not they're not willing to ask any question. No. I think they are thinking. Sir. No comment. Uh, there is a Nigerian friend. Uh, I ask him to unmute. Iki, uh, okay, silly. Uh, if uh, please unmute your microphone and uh, if you can <coughs> hear me, please uh, uh, please uh, connect with us. Hello. i think uh, he is out of range now and sir now i am uh, seeing one of our uh, resident uh, I, so far i know he also doing a um, thesis on elizara surgery so we can um, uh, congratulate him who is that who is that man uh, sir dr uh, mamunur uh, rahman mamunur rahman dr mamunur rahman can you, are you here I just uh, see his two face now mm. uh, please unmute your microphone uh, <coughs> uh, Please let them speak. Yes. Let them speak. Yes. 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 Let yes, them sir. speak. No. Rashida Sun, kisu bolo na to. Rashida Sun, dekha ta chhe. I'm seeing Rashida Sun. He never speaks. <laughs> sir, I'm just unmuting hmm. Rashida Sun, and they, in the meantime, oh. I'm searching about the Mamunur. Uh, uh, Mamunur Rahman, uh, can you hear me, Mamun Bhai? Uh, please unmute your microphone. Yes, Mamunur Rahman, please unmute your microphone. Yes. <laughs> Uh, please uh, introduce yourself and uh, uh, tell us about your thesis and all the other things uh, mamunul haq i am uh, yes, sorry, dr sorry. mamunul haq uh, sorry and just 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 finished the two years uh, third part in nitor and have joined in the department of nitor uh, yeah. my thesis is treatment of infected fracture non union of tibia by elizaro external fixator Uh, uh, welcome, uh, Dr. Mamunul Bhak, uh, new Elizare Chair, and uh, Sir uh, Ma Dr. Mamunul Bhak is from uh, Sistia, and he is also a very good friend to me. And uh, Mamunul Bhak, please, uh, you um, already um, uh, present a full session, and you can uh, enjoy also in YouTube. And please uh, pass some comments, and if you have any question regarding the session. to our speaker gazi munir munir sir has uh, explained uh, every basic basic matters to us very beautifully uh, i have to uh, hear it uh, again uh, uh, two to three times at, at least uh, 
very beautiful presentation i have to uh, say uh, uh, thank you mamunul hok and uh, I, especially Arif. yes sir Arif. yes sir nazmud sir please uh, i want to uh, uh, i want to connect with the dr habib he is also a resident uh, he is doing a, a thesis on irizaro dr mr habib uh, habib dr mamun habib rahman थ्री बी थ्री बी थ्री ए सर राकीब मंजूर हेल्पिंग मी सर वेरी दे आर वेरी हेल्प एंड आई एम वेरी मच ग्रेटफुल टू देम एंड सर सर professor bari sir sir uh, i mean i want to meet with you sir uh, but I'm door sorry. is open door is open no problem <laughs> sir i am sorry everybody is talking with me i'm talking with them all the time no problem thank you sir i think uh, i will get uh, support from you sir i am very happy that three people from kurgan uh, three people from uh, nitor is, is joined here and tell the other to invite them Learn Elizaro, then you will not face any problem in your life. I tell you. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, Habibur Rahman. Uh, mm. Habib, uh, Dr. Habib and Dr. Mamunul Haq. They are new Elizarabians and very enthusiastic and uh, a very fresh knowledge. And I, we shall, um, we shall, um, we all will um, congratulate them and uh, in, in, inspire them. And um, for Bari sir. I, Barisa, door is open for all of us. Mm. Every time, all the time, all the time. So don't uh, feel free to communicate with Barisa if you have mm. any problem regarding the your theoretical knowledge, even uh, some case um, series or other things. You can uh, uh, communicate with Professor Barisa uh, any time. And now I am going to Dr. Rashidasan Rani um, because Barisa want to uh, talk with Rashidasan Rani. Uh, please unmute your microphone. and um, express his feeling rashidasan rani sir hmm. yes sir can you hear us yes sir we can hear yes, you yes. assalam alaikum sir walaikum assalam uh, thank you dr arifat jawan for allowing me to say something first of all i want to convey my respect and salute to our professor barishan for his continuous support and guidance and uh, inspiration Sir is a great surgeon and great man also. I always respect and pray for sir. And I also uh, convey my convey my thanks to all Kurgan fellows who are doing their job very nicely. And I uh, congratulate and uh, thanks to Dr. Gadi Asanolak Mone for his uh, very informative and, and uh, knowledgeable presentation. And uh, uh, I also. on very special thanks to dr arifud jawan for taking uh, present uh, uh, time time demanding initiative at that uh, pandemic situation i uh, uh, actually dr arifud jawan uh, is my uh, senior colleague and he also my brother and good friend also i learned many things from him really he is a good guy and he always inspired me and uh, uh, Inspired me and uh, teach me 
and i uh, often i know all the kurgan fellows who are always uh, think about development of uh, illegal technique in our country uh, they are always try to teach and share their experience and knowledge it is uh, very much effective this webinar is a very effective for uh, beginner like me and again i convey my thanks and respect to both bari sir and all kurgan fellows thanks thanks to all assalamu alaikum thank you dr ashish sir roni Uh, from now i am going uh, sequentially uh, from uh, the speaker then do two co-host uh, dr nazmul uddin shetu and uh, golam mustafa and after that um, uh, dr mufakkarul bari sir uh, uh, and uh, after all this speech uh, we will conclude the session and now i am going to the speaker gazi hasan al munir and uh, if you have uh, if you have something to say uh, uh, overall of this uh, Participant interaction and other things uh, you can say. So, Gazi Hasan Al Muni sir. Mm. Thank you. Uh, I have delivered my lectures uh, in details. Uh, I have uh, help from this book. This is written by our <laughs> sir. Oh, thank you. And uh, thank you, Bari sir, for this. And uh, uh, today, from the lectures uh, of uh, this day, you can uh, have the idea uh, about the lower limb. Uh, uh the femur and the tibia the uh, anatomy and the wire placement and uh, i think it will uh, very uh, be uh, easily uh, done uh, the elisa uh, technique in the limb and uh, then that's uh, the final and uh, i concluded thank you thank you all uh, thank you sir and uh, before going to nazmuluddin and dr shwetu I just want to uh, connect with Dr. Rajesh from India. Uh, he is very astute. Nepal, Nepal. No, sorry. Oh, I am every time I Nepal. did this. Speech, <laughs> he is uh, from Nepal, and uh, he is connected just from first to last in every session, and enjoying all of our session. And just a uh, few comments uh, uh, today's session. Uh, Dr. Rajesh from India. Yes, yeah, so from Nepal. 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 <laughs> from Nepal. Sir, sir, thank you, sir. It was a very good presentation. and i learned a lot uh, from uh, from you thank you sir sir uh, thank you uh, for sir. your uh, uh, stay connecting from first to last you, and uh, please uh, stay connected on the future session also sir yes sir uh, yes sir thank you and now i am going to dr uh, gola mustafa gola mustafa are you here i think gola mustafa lost the connection and now i'm going to uh, dr nazmul dr Arif, may yes, i sir? say something I am Dr. Saifullah. Saifullah. Oh, Saifullah. Uh, yes, yes, please. Uh, just okay. a, yeah. uh -huh. yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, can you, you hear me? We can hear yes, you, sir. Yes. Assalamu alaikum and oh, very good evening. Uh, at first, I uh, especially give the thanks to our Ilijaro pioneer, Professor Bari sir, who is my hmm. uh, very much uh, popular, uh, uh, respected teacher. And uh, I also give special thanks to the organizer. and the ba kurgan bangladesh fellow group and uh, uh, i am following uh, the uh, all the session uh, trying the best uh, this is very nice presentation by dr zia monir bhai uh, he was also my uh, ca during uh, <laughs> at the time of uh, as a medical officer in nitor he was a ca of uh, professor uh, uh, yes sir that is vision then uh, i was the uh, medical officer uh, though i am not uh, elizer of surgeon but uh, in periphery as a tertiary medical college we have to do everything because uh, in our uh, medical college there are three units in each unit every patient uh, is admitted regularly and we have to do also elizer of that is why uh, this is uh, my uh, request is a general uh, elizarovian uh, not specialist so super specialist uh, like us uh, about uh, elizaro and uh, my another a question to professor Eliz uh, uh, bari sir uh, post operative complication of uh, elizaro in the tvr uh, how can we overcome the um, space reduced reduced space in posteriorly between the calf and 
Elizabeth Ring. How can we overcome in post-operatively? We always uh, uh, get the uh, take the prevention uh, to maintain the space anteriorly and posteriorly. But if the patient uh, prolonged time uh, in uh, lying position, then uh, there may be a complication to reduce the space between ring and calf muscle. How can we overcome? Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you, um, uh, Saiflusalam, sir, uh, for being with us. And I will go to my professor Mufakal Bari because he has also the slot. Uh, he can uh, have the, uh, your answer uh, at that time. And um, and uh, for your information, uh, Saiful Islam, sir, uh, we have also a session on the complications of Elizabeth technique and rehabilitations. So please uh, stay with us and you can enjoy all the session. And now I'm coming to Dr. Nazmul Huda Shetu, sir. Uh, please uh, pass some comments because we are just coming at the end of the session. Nazmul Huda Shetu, sir. Yes. Thank yes. you, Dr. Arim. And uh, first, uh, I want to um, thank you. Uh, Give thank you to Dr. Muni. He deliberately and in uh, details uh, presented the safe zone of lower limb. Uh, thank you again. And uh, uh, thank you to our uh, all our deans to participate uh, with us and inspired us. And uh, at last, uh, thanks to Dr. Arif, uh, nicely conducted this session. And uh, uh, overall, our professor, our mentor, Professor Dr. Uh, Professor Mufakarul Bari is always with us and we always uh, respectful, respectful to him and and uh, my request to our audience to continue with us and keep uh, touch with us uh, for the next session also and your uh, co connection with inspired us and we will try to our uh, best uh, give the best uh, 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 work and best uh, presentation with you. Uh, and your criticism uh, will encourage us and correct us for the future lecture. And your demand will also uh, 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 demand will also try to fulfill uh, for the next uh, session. Please uh, stay with us and connect with us and criticize us. Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Nazmul Shetu, sir. Uh, I am just uh, 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 watching that uh, Idris Ali, sir. Uh, he is very much connected from, from the first to last of the session. Uh, yeah, sir, if you want to say something, you can uh, communicate with us. Idris Ali, sir, uh, please unmute your microphone and you can uh, communicate with us. Idris Ali, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, Bari, sir. Uh, I am enjoying the lecture and uh, try to, yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, try to in, uh, increase my knowledge. Though I am not practicing Elijah Rob, but uh, let us start from knowledge, get, gathering knowledge from you. Thank you very much. Thank you, I sir. I am always with you. Yes, yeah, thank you, okay. sir. Uh, please keep uh, uh, connected with us. And now Golam Mustafa is back. Golam Mustafa, you can uh, say something at the conclusion. Golam Mustafa? Yes, Dr. Arif. Yes, yes. Uh, Okay, dear all participants, uh, thank you for uh, connecting with us. I think uh, it will be um, uh, better for your um, um, knowledge about uh, Ilijarov. So always be connected with us and uh, participate in all the rest sessions so you can enrich yourself. Thank you. Okay, uh, now I'm going to Professor Mufakal Bari. Before going to Mufakal Bari, I want to share you something that uh, if you miss the lecture, and uh, we know everyone is busy as the COVID condition uh, is worsening in our country, but the hospitals and our private practice is uh, just open up in different part of the uh, country. So uh, you are busy uh, in your clinical practice. So uh, you can enjoy all the lectures as much as time you can, and as many times you can uh, in our YouTube channel, uh, both in uh, ortho uh, world, both Elizabeth uh, Clinic KUMC, and in um, live um, ortho live and you can enjoy all the things and our next lecture uh, will be presented by me on uh, 6th of this month by foot elizabeth and essentials uh, of the wire technique and now i am uh, going to mufakkal bari sir and uh, sir you know that uh, there is a question from saiful islam sir uh, about uh, the elizabeth in the lower limb uh, 
I um, he had a question, so you can answer the question and also overall comments about the session and please conclude the session also. Mufakal Bari, sir. Yes. yes Assalamu alaikum again. First of all, first of all, I must pay tributes to the mother of Saiful. I tried three times to talk to you. They, the that day, I don't know whether you are you are busy at that time and you are so sad sorry, at sir. that time. So sorry, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, three times, and I thank you, sir. I've written the you know regarding your mother's ma. That is thank quite you. different, quite different. So. Uh, yes, Rabbi Rahmuma Kamar Bayani Sagira, all the time you just without namaz, with namaz, all the time you utter in your tongue. So yes. that will be for you and for your parents all the time. So thank you very much that you have joined today, first time that I'm, I'm seeing that you are here. So, you know, I am very much dedicated from the very beginning of my life. I have chosen this Ilizara. <laughs> When I took the classes in Nitor, I all the time told the, all the orthopedic surgeons, please, once in a life, we the Muslims, we are going to the Makkah. You, the orthopedic surgeons, one in a life, you go to the Ilizar of Center. If you don't go, don't do it, but you must know the indications so that you can transfer the patient to other orthopedic, your colleague. I all the time tell you. You see, in Ilizar of Center, 370 orthopedic surgeons, 300 Elizar of surgeons, 70. And how many Elizar of surgeons in my country? Their population is 14.5 crore. And my population is 18 crore. Think about that. Only in Elizar of center. What about the Moscow? What are the St. Petersburg? Other cities, they have a lot of Elizar of surgeons. That's why I tell all the time, those who are entering into the residency, you must invite them to come to learn this Ilizar. Not to make money. Money will be decided by your Almighty Allah. But you'll get satisfaction. I tell you, no other subject in orthopedics you'll get satisfaction that just like Ilizar. Because it gives you thinking, mathematical calculation, and result is so nice if you fantastically like this one. You must love this subject. Those who are yes doing replacement, good. Yes, arthroscopy, good. But think about the deformity. Lots of varieties you can change with this. Starting from tomato, the deformity in the world, only the lizard with the best answer. Any kind of, think about the congenital lack of deformities. Deformities with shortening, deformities with infection. And third world country, my country, all the time will get this kind of uh, problems and you'll face day to day in your life. If you send to orthopedic surgeon one osteomyelitis case, one LLD, one deformity, every day you are. If you send the patient to this orthopedic surgeon, he'll run away. What? What can I do? So this technique, I tell all the time that you must learn. You must learn. You must know the indications regarding your questions. Answer. It's very simple. Meticulous, intelligent follow-up. Ring size. This is your ring. Circumference must be two fingers all the time. All the time, two fingers. Use the smaller rings for stability. Use larger rings whenever necessary. You are looking at edema, edematous leg. You must take the full ring, Big, bigger size ring. And a small, it will give you stability. And in and two, set, two fingers breath, all the round. And you should have to check yourself every day. If you do it, you have done the case today, next day you must check. Next day you must check. Every day check. If you don't check, you'll face problem. Yes. Surgery, after the surgery, it is out of technique starts, starts treatment. And in, 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 in other cases, plate, screw, nailing, one time you have done, finish. Now this is day by day. You should have to control yourself and meticulous, intelligent follow-up. That's why I tell all the time, Ilizarov, I, intelligent, meticulous follow-up. L, lengthening, you can do. Again, I, you can control infection. Z, zigzag, deformity. 
angiogenesis, is adaptable, reliable. Lots of opportunities you can do. Oh, we victim versatile. This is Elizar. So you got your answer, Saiful. Thank you, sir. Yes. And finally, yes. finally, I must congratulate all my because I love all this group. Those who are attached with this, they are all my very much favorite. You know, today or tomorrow, everybody will be translated to the next one. I am the first man because I am now elder than you, and who will go first? No, but. Obviously, I'll go fast. This is the theory. Okay, nobody can say. So, I what what my aim and my motto, so that you learn something, you tell the you you serve the people, so that after my death you can remember the Dr. Bari was like this. I always, uh, you know, this is my this is called in Russia sudba. Sudba means your fate. And how much money you will get, that already decided by Allah. But you should have to at the same time, the Inna Ladina Amanu Amidu Swalihad, you have you believe in Allah, you are doing right righteousness, nothing to be worried. Allah is told in the Quran. So my my motto, uh, those who are related with this, I know them very well. They are all my uh, lovely, lovely guys. I, from the core of my heart, I always, uh, uh, I want that they learn it, captured it. And in Bangladesh, Elizarov, no other subject I can tell. And everybody loves the Bangladesh is doing, particularly Elizarov technique, very good. Russia knows, China knows, India knows, Korea knows, because we are holding. Why? Because of dedication, devotion, honesty. And target. If you embark everything, you'll be able to uh, learn a lot of things. And why uh, why I live like this, Elizaro? I'm doing it and locking, plating everything. When the problem arises, then you can solve. You can solve with this single technique. Only you should love yourself. Now the test they understand. Arif, they know test. Roni, Rashad, G. Munir, C. Shetu, C. Everybody knows what is the test about it. And they're earning a lot of money at them. Because they love, they're loving this technique. And it will give you, uh, Saiful, so far I know you also do. Try to do it. Other thing yes. is okay. Yes. Then you can solve a lot of problems. In pediatric, yes. in geriatric, in trauma, in deformity correction, everything. So this is my... Always I, I tell to my junior colleagues, they are my colleagues, they are my students, now they are colleagues. And today from Kurgan Center phoned me on 15th, they are going to do, and they told me, ask your all the students to join in the webinar. And we'll join on 15th. Because I had to go there this year, but due to Corona, everything is collapsed. So join, tell your other friends, even yes, if you yes. go to the rotten place, you learn something. If this is the rotten place, you will learn something. Uh, every day we are uh, enjoying talking ourselves. Not that we are, uh, you know, invite everybody. You come and learn something. And we are learning. And I am learning all the time. What is telling, what is telling, I learn from, the, from my mistakes, I learn from the juniors. And this is the motto. And uh, uh, if you think that proud, I know everything, no, no. Learning, this is a continuous process, uh, particularly this one, Elizarov, is a continuous process. Mathematical calculation, all the time, all the time. So thank you very much. Join again, invite other people to join with us. And you try to give, give us also something. The sad you do is like this. You do, do it like this, and we'll accept it, gladly accept that one. And Arif, Shetu, uh, Roni, Mustafa, G. Munir, Hamid, and Nito, they're everything. Why? They're, they're uh, uh, doing so good jobs to lift up this Elizarov technique. This is the technique for, I want so that 64 district of the country must have Elizarov Surgeon 1. This is, now you see the, what about the medical problems in my country. No ventilator. 
Same in no reserve surgeon. Problem facing. You must set up, create how many reserve surgeons we must need in every sector. And I said, they'll do it. We'll talk about all this reserve. And you, you, you talk about arthroplasty, you talk about pediatric, you talk about, yes, everybody should decide how much, how many, and what to do, how we can do. We must plan for that. Yes, young guys, they will proceed for that. And my dua is always, I mean, shop shaman, shop shaman dua for that. For that. You believe in me. I'm very much happy that my students, they are doing and helping all the time. No problem. You join on day after tomorrow, we will talk. After that, we'll talk by uh, who? Hamid. Next, uh, Abdullah. After that, I'll talk again on before me. Then you see. Okay, Saifu, thank you very much. Thank you, okay, Arif. Thank you, Arif. Thank you, everybody. I'm very much happy to get you. Uh, yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, because you make us emotional. Uh, sir, mm. every, every time you are very inspiring to us. Uh, mm. like, uh, I, I myself, I think that you are the father of Eliza of surgery in Bangladesh. And yes, yes. Uh, mm. everyone have this uh, gratitude to you and um, respect to you. And um, Thank one, you thing, very much. Um, one thing I want to say that uh, in Eliza of surgery, we put tension on wires in mm -hmm. patient of Eliza of frame, but it decreased tension of our uh, mind, decreased tension in our mind. Mm. You need not to worry about the outcome or bad outcome uh, when you do Elizera surgery. Elizera makes you free and very tension free. And, uh, uh, I want to invite you that uh, uh, our professor Mufakal Barisar has a very nice presentation on deformity correction, deformity basic of deformity on 9th of this month. And uh, you also uh, happy to know that uh, Barisar also have a presentation how the life of the orthopedic surgeon uh, that will be the last presentation of this Kurgan Fellow Group presentation. Uh, it may be on 23rd or 22nd of this month. Um, and um, on Saturday, I have a presentation on food. I'm trying to ma make it very palatable to uh, you. And I hope um, everyone of you, please stay connected and come back uh, to this platform on Saturday. Same time, same password, same ID. I will also send you the invite also. Till then, Khoda Hafiz, Assalamu Alaikum. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.